Hello, this is Artyom from Xerial, and in this video I will demonstrate capabilities of Properties plus module of CAD plus toolset for SOLIDWORKS. I will cover common scenarios related to the need of batch modifying your custom properties in SOLIDWORKS files, configurations and CAD lists. We will learn how to batch modify custom properties directly from SOLIDWORKS, Windows File Explorer or Excel. One of the properties in components of this assembly is a property called material, which represents the material of the document. But as you can see, for some of those parts, such as base 2, the material does not match the actual material in SOLIDWORKS part. And the reason for that is the invalid entrance of that material properties in the properties dialog. So as you can see, that material is just a hard-coded value rather than SW material formula. Fixing all of those properties manually could be quite a tedious task. So let's employ Properties Plus module from CAD Plus toolset to fix this problem quickly. I'm going to activate Properties Grid command from a toolbar. And I have a few options. I can just select the components I want to load properties from. You can have an option to load document properties, configuration properties or cut list properties. You have another option to just load all top-level references or just all the references. So here I loaded all of the files used by this assembly, including suppressed parts. Let me quickly introduce you to interface of Properties Grid. All file names are listed in the first column of the Property Grid. If there is a file with an error, it will be highlighted with a red color, and you can move your mouse over the exclamation icon to see the exact reason for the error. You can hover the mouse over the icon of item to see the full path and the preview of the file. Columns will contain all the properties and their corresponding values in the cells. Properties which do not exist for the particular file are marked with a gray null text. For example, property description exists for propeller assembly but not for the based part. In order to modify property value, you can double click on a cell. If the property is linked to expression, it will be displayed in a cell value, or if it's not, it will be just a plain text. It is possible to select multiple cells and click Ctrl-C to copy their expressions into the clipboard. Now we can paste those into the text editor or Excel spreadsheet. When you click Ctrl-C combination of keys, it's going to copy the expression of the properties, such as in this case you can see the formula of SW material has been copied. There are also several special symbols. So this symbol corresponds to the null, which means that this property does not exist, or if you want to paste it back, it's going to be deleted. This symbol means that the property cannot be modified. In this case, it corresponds to the property of the file with errors. In some cases, you would want to copy the actual values of the properties instead of their expressions. For that, you need to click the combination of keys, Ctrl, Alt, C. So now we can paste it next to this column, and you can see it is actually the actual result value instead of the expression. Let's quickly copy our SW material expression into all cells and copy all of the values. Now we can just use Ctrl V combination of keys to paste those values back into our properties grid. Values have been inserted into the properties grid and there are few special icons appeared in the cells. Pencil icon indicates that the property has been modified. So as you can see, property of this part does not have a pencil icon because it's already had SW material formula in its cell. Asterisk indicates that this is a new property to this part or assembly or drawing. This happens when you insert the value into the cell marked as null. At this point of time, the properties are not yet written back to the files, so you can just click red cross to cancel all of your changes. To apply changes, you can click a green tick on your property manager page. You can also click a push pin button if you want to see how the changes have been applied before closing property manager page. So as you can see, when you install works, the formulas have been automatically evaluated and displayed in the corresponding column. Let's continue cleaning our data. So let's now modify the values of description properties. So as you can see, all of the properties here are capitalized. Let's fix this issue. So I'm just going to also select all of my cells and click Ctrl-C to copy their values. 
And now I'm just going to paste it into Microsoft Word. And here I can click Shift F3 to change the case of my text. And I can also use a nice spelling checker to fix all of my spell errors. I can copy the values back and simply paste into my properties grid. So as you can see, all of the properties are now have a valid case. You can click green tick and all of the properties have been applied to the corresponding files. All the results could be validated by simply rebuilding the model and checking the values in our material column and description column of the bill of materials table. In addition to integrated solar's add-ons, properties plus can also be accessed directly from Windows File Explorer. You will find properties plus command directly in the context menu when selecting folder, solar's assembly, part or drawing in Windows File Explorer. You do not need to have solar's installed on the machine to utilize properties plus integrated into Windows Files Explorer. Starting the properties plus command for folder in the Explorer would open standalone version of properties plus and you can select multiple options such as select all of the files or top level files only. So now as you can see some of the files are grayed out. The reason for that is that file cannot be opened for write access and this happens because these files correspond to the assembly which is currently opened for write access in SOLIDWORKS. As you can see it is not the case for other files which correspond to different assemblies. So let's just close assembly in solvers and reactivate properties plus command. We can configure multiple options for the scope of our custom properties to load. And in just few seconds all the properties from dozens file and configurations have been loaded into the properties grid. The speed of the video is not changed, so this is a real speed which you're going to use on loading the properties. You can follow the link in the description of this video for the benchmark test of the Properties Plus performance. Thousands of files could be modified in a matter of minutes. Properties Grid in the Windows Explorer version of the tool has exact same features as the one integrated into the solvers. So you can hover your mouse over the item to see the preview and full pass. You can also open the file directly from the Windows File Explorer. As our next exercise, we are going to rename weight property to a mass property. Unfortunately, there is a not direct way of renaming custom property, but you can simply create new property, copy all of the values and delete original property. Let's create new property and call it mass. Now we can just select a first cell into our weight property, scroll all the way down and select the last cell with the shift key, control C. Do the same for the mass column, control V. So now I just copy the values from one column to another to make the rename. We can also delete individual cells or we can just select the column and click remove properties button to delete all of the properties from the file. At this stage solvers files are not yet modified. To save all of the changes you need to click save button. Now all of the modifications have been updated in the corresponding SOLIDWORKS files. Just a quick note regarding the difference between integrated version of Properties Plus and Windows File Explorer version of Properties Plus. The later one does not use SOLIDWORKS API directly, so that means that the formulas cannot be evaluated straight away. So you can see in this case once we saved the documents unlike the integrated version our expression has not been evaluated to the proper mass and it stays as an expression. This will be immediately evaluated in SOLIDWORKS itself when you open that file. Properties Plus can also work with the cut list custom properties. For that we simply need to activate the cut list option in our scope toolbar. If file has cut list, for example sheet metal or weldment part, this will be listed in the corresponding item. And it will be listed under the configuration node. So let's expand this file, default configuration, and you can see it has a cut list. So it's similar to any other property, it can have a value, and if it's a formula, you can activate to see the formula. In the next step, we'll perform a bit more advanced manipulation with the custom properties. In this demo, part number custom property is holding the part number for the file in the project. The part number usually consists of two parts, the product code followed by a dash and some numbers. And we will need to extract the product code 
from that part number and place it into the separate custom property called product code. Let me demonstrate how easily this could be done with Properties Plus. At first we will add new custom property called product code. When cut list option is used, you usually have quite a lot of properties which just clutter your grid. So we can select multiple columns and click hide properties. You can always show all of the hidden properties by clicking the show hidden properties button. So let me hide a few more columns here. So I'm just going to clean up my working area. Hiding property only hides it from the grid. It does not delete the property from the files. So as a result, I just have two properties to work with. I could simply copy all of the custom properties and paste into Excel to do some manipulation, similar to what I did in previous steps. But there is a better way, as I can simply export all of my properties into the Excel itself. I have two options, I can export expressions or I can export evaluated values. When you intend to import edited properties back, you should always export properties expression rather than evaluated values, otherwise you are risking changing and overwriting all of your formulas with the resolved static values. Now I simply need to specify the path to Excel file where to write my properties. So let's just open that Excel file. And Excel will contain all of the information about custom properties to work with. Let me explain the meaning of columns and colors in this Excel spreadsheet. The first column contains the index which corresponds to the index in your properties plus grid. Second column contains the type where the custom property belong to. This could be document, configuration or cut list. This is very useful if you want to filter the specific types to see the properties or edit those properties. Next column is a full path to the file, name of the configuration or cut list. Active configuration will be marked with a bold font. Values of custom properties will be in the corresponding cells with no fill background. Gray background corresponds to null cells. That means that this property does not exist in this specific item, such as file, configuration or cut list item. When writing properties back to properties grid, it is important to follow few simple rules. The structure of the table should remain the same. That means that you cannot add new columns, you cannot reorder columns, you cannot add or remove rows. If you want new property to be added, you first need to add it from the properties grid before exporting to Excel. All of the cells which have no fill background will be imported back into the properties grid, while all of the other cells which gray background or any other background will be ignored. So for example, if you want to add this custom property, you need to add the value and also make sure that this cell does not have a background. I will demonstrate that in a second. As I have mentioned before, it is required to have exact same sequence of rows when importing this back from Excel to properties grid. While reviewing or modifying the properties via Excel, you might want to sort your rows or filter your rows. If you need to do that, I recommend to add a new temporary column with a row index. Simply click insert command to add a new column next to the type column and just type 1 and 2 in first two cells, select both of them and click in the corner to propagate the values to the all rows. And it is now possible to sort and filter by any other column as we can always restore the original order based on this temporary column. Now let's create a formula to find product code from a part number. I'm going to use Excel left function in combination with find function to find the position of the dash symbol and substring the original part number to find the product code. Of course, in your case, you might use any other Excel formulas or combination of formulas to solve your specific requirement. Now, as you can see, product code has been extracted for all the files which do have a valid part number. Other files have an error in there, but we're going to uh, address that issue a bit later. 
So as I told you, we need to make sure that there is no fill background uh, to the cells, so we can then import them into our properties grid. You can easily use no fill background on just select normal. So now let's show all of our cells with value error. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove these values. And I will also assign the gray background to those cells, so the properties not get imported back into my properties grid. Otherwise, it will be imported as an empty value. Now let's save this Excel and try to import it. So we're going to have few issues now, and I'm going to explain why we cannot import that Excel as it is right now. So let me activate properties grid. Click on import properties command. Select our properties, click open, and you can see there is some error uh, related to calculations. The reason for this is an engine cannot evaluate some formulas. Properties Plus does not use Excel directly to read these properties, which means that you actually can use it uh, without Excel installed and you can use any other Excel-like editors. Fortunately, there is a very simple solution to this problem. You simply need to select all of your cells, click Ctrl-C to copy them and paste them as values. Now all of the formulas have been disconnected and you can import that Excel file. There is another problem, so let me try to explain why it's not going to import it again. So now it says that number of columns in your Excel does not match the number of columns in Properties Grid. As I mentioned to you before, you should have exact same structure. As you remember, we have added the temporary column with our row index, so let's just sort our rows back on this index and delete this column. Save it, and now we should be able to successfully import our properties into our Properties Plus application. We can now scroll through our Properties Grid to see the product code have been successfully applied to all of the files, configurations and cut list which have a valid part number. Let's click Save to write all of the changes to our file, configuration and cut list. Now, for the simple test, let's activate our assembly which we used to work before and see how those changes have been applied. So let me open that drone assembly. So and as you can see, the weight value have been disappeared because there is no weight property anymore and there is a mass. So we can simply relink it to the mass property. And as I told you, it's automatically evaluated in SolidWorks. Let's create another column and link it to our product code. And as you can see, it has been also successfully applied to all of the files and configuration in this assembly. In the final part of this demonstration, I will show you another use case where well, Properties Plus could be quite a handy tool. In some cases within your organization, new product may be very similar to previous already completed product. In this case, it might worse to reuse an existing product and simply modify it to suit new requirements. You may usually use a tool like Pack and Go to copy all of the references and optionally rename it, or we can just copy the folder. So in this case, let me just copy the folder of my roof sheet and simply rename my main file. One of the changes is a change of the product code from BL to DN. So for this demo, I'm just going to rename my main file. In addition to loading properties from all the files in the folders, Properties Plus can also be used to load properties from an assembly, and it has its benefits, so it can find all of the references, including virtual components. So we can also load properties for configurations and cut lists, and we have slightly different drop-down, allowing you to load top-level references or all references. As a first step, I will just hide several properties to clean up our working area. One of the modifications required to be performed in this project is the renaming of part number of cut list. So as you can see, cut list here have a product code CL followed by the index, and in our new project it will be CLX. The easiest way to rename all of the cut list properties would be to only keep cut list filter in our scope. As you can see, now all of the file and configuration custom properties are marked as NA and won't be modified. I can select all of my cut list properties, click Ctrl C, and now I'm just going to paste them into the notepad. Now I can activate Find Replace tool in Notepad by clicking Ctrl H, 
and select CL in define what and CLX in replace with. Let's copy our modified values and paste it back into properties plus grid. We can now activate documents and configuration filters and let's perform another change. So let's change the product code of the model number. So the product code has been changed to DN and I can simply modify that custom property. There is another custom property which depends on the product code and needs to be updated. Type custom property is only applicable to few files and it always start with I followed by product code. It might be not a trivial task to find all of these files, but fortunately we have a powerful filter as a part of properties plus and we can filter by title or by custom property itself. So let's filter by type custom property. And as I said, I want to find all of the files starting with I, I can enable wildcard so I can use wildcards in my filtering. So I just type I followed by asterisk to find all of the files whose type custom property starts with I. And I can see four in this particular assembly. If I would not select wildcard option, it will find all the file which contains I in the value of the custom property type. Now I just need to modify the value of this custom property to IDN copy this value and simply propagate it to another cells. Now we can disable filter to show all of the files. We can save all our changes now. Sometimes error may occur during the save and you will see errors like this. All the failed files and properties will be marked correspondingly with the error red background. You can hover your mouse to inspect the error. In this case, we run into the limitation of SOLIDWORKS API where we cannot modify the configuration specific catalyst properties. To simplify the process of finding all of the failed items, we can simply apply the filter. So let me firstly remove my text from the filter and check show items with error. And as you can see, all of our files which have failed have been shown in this filter. So I can simply inspect and I can see that all of my files have the same problem. It might not be immediately evident what configuration and file the specific cut list belongs to. And there are a few markers which can help you to identify that. First, you can hover your mouse over the cut list and it will show which configuration and which file that cut list belongs to. Secondly, you can use an index of the row to identify the parent of this item when you remove the filtering. You can also highlight the row by clicking on the row header. To remove the highlighting, click one more time. Highlighting will stay with the row even if you remove the filter. As you can see, indeed those cut lists belong to inactive configuration of the file. So let's apply filter again, select the part number and simply reverse those changes. This feature of rows highlighting can be quite useful when you do a properties inspection. Similar to reverting all of the properties in the selected column, we can also revert individual cells by clicking right mouse button and calling revert command. Finally, let's save our changes and validate results. Let's open part with cut list and validate that custom properties have been successfully updated. So let me activate cut list properties. And as you can see, our part number has been renamed from CL to CLX. We can look at the property summary and you can see that all of our part numbers for all of the cut list has been successfully renamed. Let's also open assembly and as you can remember we have changed the model number of that assembly. Let's activate custom properties and see that model number has been changed. It is now DN600X. And we can also activate one of the virtual components. And here we have modified the type, which is now IDN. You can find more information about Properties Plus and Cut Plus toolset for solvers by following the link in the description of this video. Thank you for your time.